Well, the Holmenkorn venue has been here since 1892. That was the first ski jumping event taking place. So it's it's a couple of years ago. Yeah, and it definitely it is historical, and it's a, an important venue for all the skiers, not only in Norway but but the, the rest of the world. We do uh, the Nordics, uh, ski jumping, Nordic combined, and cross country. The thing is, I mean, we have the venue, and we, we think that all the skiing disciplines should be in Holmenkoll. So this has been, we've been working on this for co quite some time. We want to be here for the Alpine uh, and the Alpine community. So this was an important milestone for us to get it in last year. Ski jumping, I mean, they've been here for ages. This we need to build up. Uh, we had about 7,500 people here last year. We're hoping for, for 10. Um, and, and try to build it up as being one of the major and important ones. I am always happy to, to come here and uh, race here because it's uh, completely different as, uh, I don't know, in Stockholm or uh, in uh, Kurshavel. This arena, it's a very short hill, it's a very small hill, it's going to be a very tight racer against racer and I think this format is perfect for uh, this venue, Holmkoln, and for Oslo. I think it's important to bring al alpine skiing to as many places as possible, you know, not just the main places you would expect in, in Austria or Switzerland or something. It's good to bring ski racing to these places that have the history, it keeps the fire going and it keeps the interest in the sport and this venue is pretty cool. It's uh, about one million people living in the Oslo area and Norwegians really like skiing. So it's to bringing the snow to the people that uh, they don't need to go far away to watch uh, Alpine ski race. I think if you're standing there and watching the finals and you're starting to get goosebumps, then I think we have reached our goal.